Hey guys, what's up? It's really Rick, and I have some really exciting news. I was just on CNN. I'm so not kidding. This is so not a joke. When I woke up this morning, I, of course, checked the CNN website and was reading all the stories about Joe Biden being picked as the vice presidential running mate for Obama. They have what's called an iReport feature where you can send your comments or a video or pictures about a particular subject, and they were asking for people's comments about the selection. Well, I made a short little video and posted it, and I immediately received a telephone call from someone at CNN and an email asking me some questions and asking for legal permission to use the video. Well, they went ahead and used the video. Um, I haven't seen it because I don't have a TV, so, um, but I know it was aired. I will put a link right here, and you can click on it, and you can see uh, the little icon that says um, on CNN. In fact, you know what I'll do? I'll just put a graphic. I'll just put a picture right here that shows that I was on CNN. But because uh, you haven't seen it, I will upload the video here so you guys can watch it. So, yeah, I was on CNN. Yay. I woke up this morning hoping that hearing that Joe Biden had been picked as Barack Obama's vice presidential nominee last night was only a bad dream. But unfortunately, it wasn't. How could Barack Obama pick Joe Biden? I mean, really? Really? This is someone who has said to one of his constituents, I think I have a higher IQ than you do. This is someone that has said to one of his constituents, you cannot go into a 7-Eleven or a Dunkin' Donuts unless you have a slight Indian accent. I'm not joking. This is someone who described Obama as the first mainstream African-American presidential candidate who was articulate and bright and clean and a nice-looking guy. This is someone who has been in the Senate since 1972 and goes against everything Barack has been preaching about change. This is someone who voted for the war in Iraq. This is someone who said in a Democratic debate that Obama did not have the experience and was not ready to lead. Even Hillary Clinton didn't say that. I was born and raised in San Francisco and have been a lifelong left-wing liberal Democrat, but I cannot support Biden as vice president. I have always said there is no way that I would ever vote for a Republican, and that holds true. Not only will I not vote for Barack Obama, I will not vote for John McCain. I am left with only a few choices. I'm certainly not going to vote for Bob Barr, someone who helped uh, impeach Bill Clinton. So, I would like to announce that I will be voting for Green Party candidate Cynthia McKinney, a former Democratic congressman from Georgia. She is strictly against the war. She has called for a new investigation into 9-11. In joining uh, Congressman Kucinich, she has called for the impeachment of George W. Bush. That is the kind of candidate that I'm going to support in this election, and that is the kind of candidate that should have been chosen as vice president.